Rando people, welcome to Rap Reviews. Do you know what? I need to be in a Marvel. Someone just tell someone to call someone, to email someone, to speak to someone and tell them I want to be in a Marvel too. I watched Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So you know like there was all the other standalone Marvel films and they've been just, hmm, Mm, except for spider-man that was good this one go and see this one and ant-man does not disappoint you know just character wise dialogue wise humor wise just randomness wise this quantum mania was actually a mania it was madness it was really interesting and it really made me think about just levels of levels because like the infinite possibility it was weird infinite possibilities there was so much going on it got a bit it got a bit Star Warsy, you know, characters and stuff. A little bit. But I was still there. I was still there. Go and watch this film. It was very good. I've just looked at Rotten Tomatoes and it's got like 47%. How dare you? Okay. This film is at least 70. At least. My issue was with the character Kang. His acting style is a bit O two two for me. I don't think he was the right choice for that. He didn't really fit. He didn't really fit. But I think that was the only thing. The daughter character may be coming into our own. You know, we'll see what happens there in the future. But I think it was really good. Go see it. It was. It makes you think. These are standalone films. Ant-Man and the Wasp could be doing many, many films together by themselves. Thor cannot be. Yeah.